Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to um, apologize. I know I've been MIA. Um, the giveaway was a lot of work, just getting everything organized and together a lot more work than I anticipated. So I was a little behind and then with the holidays and everything, I just wanted to take some time to catch up, clean up and you know, rest and everything. And today I finally got the chance to craft. So I wanted to finish up some Merry Mail that I had started uh, because I want to mail this out as soon as possible. This is for another crafter who was an angel for me in a swap I did. I participated in for Liana from It's a Deal. She hosted a Halloween swap, I think, I want to say a year ago. And um, my partner flaked on me. I completely just ghosted me, didn't hear from her. And um, her and I both messaged my partner several times and we just both didn't hear from her again. So this person, I guess, knew about it from Liana because she's a friend of Liana's and decided to be my angel and give me the items and more that I was expecting in my swap. And I just wanted to thank her because um, it was just such a nice gesture for someone who didn't even know me. And I, for, per, for privacy purposes, because she did uh, swap anonymously and I didn't even know who she was until recently when I contacted Liana and I wanted to know that person's contact information so I could send this stuff to thank her but I just made her a small token of appreciation um, using the what is it called sugar plum collection by recollections a hot buy paper pad from Michaels I, uh, this is a great way to use up scraps that you might have and the cut aparts and the tags. And, um, so I decided to make her mini album. This is literally just made by six by six piece of paper. If you had a double sided piece, that's all you need. But in this case, the paper is only one sided. And so, um, I did have to, where did my paper clip go? I did have to um, use two sides of paper, but I'll show you that in a minute. Um, I'm just looking for the paper clip. There it is. It's part of her book. So this is the cover. I just um, used the pink snowflake cardstock, and then I cut. This is from a cut apart, this ornament. I just fussy cut it. And then I fussy cut this gold foil snowflake. And then to match, I added some gold sequins just around the snowflake. And then um, this snowflake, uh, this snowflake foam sticker from Hobby Lobby. And then I added some white pom pom trim just to, you know, hide the, the binding back there. And yeah, so that's the front. And then this is, so this is three by three size. And then this is the inside. As you can see, I did choose the gingerbread paper. There should be a paper clip on this. Where did it go? There it is. There it is, you guys. So um, I added this vellum pocket. <coughs> Excuse me. I added this vellum pocket and then the the reason I came up with this idea for these um, this mini album is because the collection the sugar plum collection actually comes with mini tags and the mini tags are this size so I wanted to create a tag flip but I thought it would be too small and um, but I wanted to use up these beautiful tags because they had some gold foil on them and they were just really pretty, you know. 
Um, so I figured a good way to use them up is to include them in the mini album. But, um, and also the cut aparts. So I added this vellum pocket and it also has gold foil dots on it. Sorry guys, I'm doing this with one hand. And I cut apart this. This is one of the cut aparts, the Christmas cookie to match the little gingerbread. And then I had to have the house on there. And then um, this is a regular size tag, but I cut it down so it could fit because if, as you can see, a regular tag is too big and it would, you know, it wouldn't fit when you fold the book. So, yeah, so I included that. And then this is, you know, crafting is all about covering up, you know, the mistakes. So I originally put the vellum pocket on this side, but then I tore it off. So there's an actual tear there and I just covered it up with washi. And then this is another cut apart, the hot cocoa to match the little gingerbread and the hot cocoa tab I made from the sample washi. Um, this paper clip, I had these pastel paper clips. I just added a little resin bow on there. And this is the back of the tab. Since this paper is one-sided, I just glued on the other side of the tab with the fa-la-la-la-la. And then I cut, I literally, this has no measurements and I just cut it from putting it on top of outlining from the top of another tab. So I did that. And then I added, so there was a wrinkle in my, my um, paper trimmer. And so it created like a tear, kind of like a wrinkle on the paper. So it looked messy. I just covered that up with washi. And then I wanted to put some writing on here. Oh, so jolly and gold foil. And these are the tags. And I, as I told you, it is one-sided. So the back of them are white. So I wanted to include two, but I made sure to put them back to back. That way, when it's peeping out on this side, you don't see just white. You see the gold foil. And I had to give her the Christmas cookie one and the hot cocoa. And then the other side are the trees. And... Um, I use the tree paper for the back of that instead of, you can leave it white if you wanted to, but I decided to use up all the paper I had, <laughs> all the scraps. So, yeah, so because it's so small of an album, you, it's a good way to use up your scraps. Um, this is actually an, a tag, but I wanted to put Christmas wishes on the back here. And, um... Yeah, so, and then the back is just plain, and that's her little mini album. And I'm going to, um, of course, include the rest of the tags so she can use them. And then um, I did include these stickers that I had and I never used, so I'm going to gift them to her. They're little puffy mini stickers. I thought these were adorable little coffee cup and the little mail and the hot cocoa and the another hot cocoa the penguin so I just thought this was really cute it just has everything in it and um, these are the uh, bag toppers this is from um, I bought them from they're Ivalee's Creations Bag Topper Kit. So the kit comes in this. Okay, so it includes the paper and the paper and then there's the font and then it includes the snowman cutouts. And I believe they come with about six or eight. Um, I'll link Ivalee's channel down below, but this is the little kit that she made um, 
if you I gifted I made some bag toppers and I gifted them to my angel as well so this is the one these are the ones I made and I mixed it up a little bit so this obviously has the ones from Ivalee's creations but I did add some stickle to the Mary and the Christmas and then I added a foam sticker from Hobby Lobby on there that matched and um, that's the first one the second one as you can tell is longer and bigger and that's because I wanted to use up the sugar plum paper and see how it would look and if you can tell or maybe you can't but the Merry Christmas on here is actually lighter than here and that's because, and it's actually, this is bigger a little bit. Can you see the difference? And that's because this is a color a copy. So what I did was I just color copied it with my printer and it comes out lighter when you get the color copy. I fussy cut it out and I um, just glued it on to some gold cardstock and then I fussy cut this tree line. I think this is what, from a tag. I'm, I'm not sure, but I fussy cut the tree line and so that's what that bag topper looks like. But I'm gifting these both to her. And then I'm also gifting her this beautiful ornament I had, which I think I was, I had this from last year and I was saving it up for someone, but I ended up not giving it to them. So I altered it by adding, ooh, adding some sprinkles on the ice cream cone. As you can see, I added some pink peppermint, um, sprinkles and some hot pink or magenta sequins and then some of those micro bead pieces from the Dollar Tree can you see them they're like iridescent they kind of look like sprinkles on there and yeah so I think it came out really cute I hope that she's happy with it I didn't want to do too much to it because um it's just supposed to be an ice cream cone so yeah I just it came with this pom-pom so that actually came on there as like the top the cherry or whatever so and then you know the, I got it from the 19 cent store so unfortunately there's the um glue from them but I might add some pom-pom trim maybe on the cone I don't know or at least like right here to kind of clean it up a little bit right around the ice cream. I don't know. Maybe. But yeah, this is my little um, or altered ornament for her. And I may add some bows. I'm not sure yet. But um, that is the Merry Mail I'm sending. And... Um, Guys, I want to thank you for watching. I missed making videos for you, and I really hope that you enjoyed this one. I hope I can do a tutorial soon. This was really fun to make, and like I said, a perfect way to use up your scraps and um, use up the cut-aparts and the tags and things like that. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video and more videos like these, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much. Have a great night. Bye.